Okay, today I'm going to show you how to get the Super Nintendo on your PS3 on firmware, on custom firmware 3.55. So first, go to this website, it's going to be in the description, and download the Super Nintendo. Open it up. Now look for the um, Geo High. It's gonna say, you see right here when you hover over it, it's gonna say Geo High Custom Firmware 3.55. Drag that to your desktop. Now, okay, let me just clear this thing. Now plug in your flash drive. Mine always comes out with this. Yeah. Now you're just going to place it in the root of your um, flash drive. So take it, drag it, and paste. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to install it on your PS3. Alright, now we're on our PS3, so let me just show you that one. 3.55. Alright, now go to game, up, install package files, go down to SNES, and now it's going to install with no errors. Now, well, let me delete this actually, well, let me make sure I have it, then I'll delete it. Alright, like I'm going to delete my FTP server. I'm going to install it for you. Now install it. Alright. Now open it back up. Well, open it up. And now we're back on our computer. Alright. Once you have done that, you're going to want to download this program called FileZilla. It's going to be in the description. This is going to hook us up to the FTP server on our PS3 where we can copy the games. Alright, so when you open up the FTP server on your PS3, it's going to show you the IP address. Type in that number, let me just type it in. Leave everything else blank and hit click connect. So now, once it opens up, it should be successful. Go over here where you see dev underscore hdd0. Open that up. Make a new directory by right clicking in a blank space and then create directory. Name it emulator. Now, once you've named it that, right click on it. Follow permissions. Type in 777 okay then open it up make another directory in it and name it SNES right click same thing file permissions 777 sorry about this uh, alright so now you open that up and this is where you're going to place your games so now you go to this website it's going to be in the description the old computer dot com or dot net. It doesn't matter. Go over here where you see ROMs. Click on it. Here we go. It might take a little while here. I hate these. Now, go down and go to where you see Nintendo. And once that one opens up, you're going to want to hit on Super Nintendo. Right here, SNES. Hit on it. Now, 
go to USA. Now you're going to have a whole list of the different games. I'm going to download Super Mario World because who doesn't love that game? Right here. Or, uh, hit it. Oh, it's about to X out. Now, go down here where it says to download ROM and download it. I'm just going to open it up. Just gonna take the file that's in it and drag it to my desktop. All right. Now to X out of the website because I really don't need it. Now back on your FTP server. Go into the folder that we just made this NES and drag and drop the game in there. Oh here, sorry. Let me just. Oh wait. Oops. I'm gonna put it right there. Just drag it. Drop it. Alright, now it's done. So now I'm going to show you how to actually play it on your PS3. Now, when you go back to your PS3, there might be a black screen. That's the FTP server, so just press X and just press X to exit. Now it's going to load up the XMB. Now, Go to the Super Nintendo emulator that we downloaded. No, you're gonna have all these directories. Go down until you hit dev underscore hdd0. Hit X. Go to emulators. SNES. Super Mario World, or whatever game you downloaded. Just show you how I'm on my PS3. Alright. Now, let me just show you that I'm still running 3.55. Three point five five. All right, guys. Peace.